God bless you again. My name is Bishop Gabe Isabelle. I'm just here to encourage you to really speak to you concerning what is going on in the world right now. Even though people are confused, but we are not. Because we have God. When you have Jesus Christ, you, you have some kind of peace that is inside of you. A lot of pastors and friends and colleagues in the ministry, members have called me. They want to know the way forward. I just told them, look, there's an opportunity that has opened up for us as Christians. It is an, it's a time for us to use the kingdom of God and expand it. Every time there's some oil in the wall, there's always been an opportunity to, to harvest. You know, souls are out there. People are confused. They don't know where to go, where to turn to. Many things that used to work has failed. The system is failing. The governments are failing. Resources, people that have a lot of it, your money cannot even save you. So many people are turning back to God. So as a Christian, I want us to just go to the book of Luke chapter 10, verse Lamagasi uh, Korogongo. Let's read Matthew chapter 9, Matthew 9. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. Let's look at verse 35. In the name of Jesus. I want us to pray right now. The Bible says, The entrance of the word bringeth light and understanding to the simple. Lord, your word is, is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Let the word that we are speaking and hearing now not be an enticing word of a man, but let it be the word of God that will bring glory to thy holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Look at Matthew chapter 9, verse 35. So then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in the synagogue and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when he saw the multitude, I want to pay attention to verse 36. When he saw the multitude, he was moved with compassion for them because they were weary and scattered like sheep having no shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, I'm saying to you today, the harvest truly is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. We are the embodiment of Christendom today. The Bible, we are the custodians of the Bible, the word of God today. This is for us. The Bible says the harvest is plentiful. It's enormous. It's great. But there are no laborers. A lot of laborers are trying to ask questions. This is not the time to ask questions. It's time to do something. Just be a voice of God at that place in the hospital be a voice of god at your place of work sometimes people might just need to hear from somebody that it is going to be well with them be that voice i am that voice here as i'm speaking to you i'm here to encourage you that whatever that you are going through god understands he knows the end from the beginning he is Alpha and Omega. That's why God is a supreme God and is a sovereign God. So if we know all that, we should not be panicking. It is scary. Bills are piling up. Nations are losing. America makes about 12 to $14 trillion a year. They receive as revenue. They are going to lose all that this year. And the companies are losing billions and billions of dollars. People are going to go down, but I want you to know that in all this, there is a harvest. There is a harvest. There's something that I can't explain that God is doing right now. If you can look onto Jesus Christ and hold on to God, there is something coming out of it. I just want to stand with you in prayer uh, and pray with you. I don't have much to say right now. Uh, the harvest is plenty but there are few laborers if you can just indicate that you are going to be a laborer you are going to fight this fight with me you are going to go this into this battle with me i just want to hold hands with you in the spirit and let us just move and begin to harvest souls a lot of souls 
in the hospital. People are losing their job. People are losing their mind. Can you be the voice of God that will tell them it is going to be okay? So that men can have closure. People are bankruptcy is high, skyrocketing. Unemployment is going high. A lot of families are breaking apart because they don't know what tomorrow brings. But I want you to know that the end is going to be great. God say, I know the thought I think towards you. Jeremiah 29, 11, the thought of good and not of evil to give you an expected end. There's always an end to everything. The end is going to be great. He said there's an end to Christ, the end to poverty, end to joblessness, end to the sickness and infirmity, the plague that is all over the world. But your expectations cannot be cut short. Let me pray with you now. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I stand with my brothers and my sisters all over the world and I hold your hands and we lift our hands together up. Lord, may you look on us with your mercy. Have mercy upon us in the ways we have erred against you. But also deliver us in any form that we have gone into the den of wolves and into the coven. Deliver us. Forgive us from the sins that we have committed ourselves or every ancestral that sin that is following us. Deliver us from the cause of any land that we are possessing in this nation and all over the nations of the world. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be light again. Because the Bible says you saw a confused earth and you spoke a direct word. It said, let there be light and there was light. I speak to my brothers, to my sister, to my friend, to my colleagues out there. I say, let there be light in your situation and let the light come. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Thank you Holy Spirit for we know that you have done it. We thank you for uplifting and holding our hands up. For the harvest is coming. The harvest is plenty. But there are many few laborers. We are calling laborers from everywhere to just join us. As we begin to harvest the earth back to Jesus Christ. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen.